She pulled out of the driveway and then drove to the defendant's house. And that was the last time that she was seen alive. She entered the defendant's home, never being seen alive again. This is the story of Camila Russell, aged 41, a mother of two who was killed and dumped in the canal by her childhood friend and former Miami Norland senior high school assistant principal, Ernest Roberts, age 39. There are speculations that he did all this because he felt she was pregnant for him and didn't want his wife to find out about this, making him trick her to his house where he beat her to death with a baseball bat before dumping her into a nearby canal where she was found 10 days later. Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like button for more stories. Breaking news, there's been a break in the case after a Miami Gardens teacher was murdered. A former assistant principal is now charged in her death. This story will be taking us to Miami, Florida. Miami, the subtropical city located in the sunshine state of Florida, between the Everglades and the Atlantic Ocean. Miami is known for its strong Cuban influence, warm weather, pristine beaches, and great diving sites. The city is also home to some famous teams and landmarks such as the Miami Heat, the iconic Miami Tower, and the beautiful Everglades National Park. Camila Russell, aged 41, was originally from the Bahamian island New Providence but moved to Florida for a better life. Camila worked for the Miami Garden School District as a test chair for Norland Senior High School. She had been with the district since 2014 and also worked as a teacher at Walter C. Young Middle School. Camila has two daughters who she loved and cherished so much. She talks a lot about them on social media. Camila was known to be a funny person. She had a great sense of humor. She was close and friendly to her students. Listen up, Yadira, Roly, Natalie, all of y'all, class of 2019 from Walter C. Young. If I don't get an invitation for your graduation, some bodies are going to hit the floor, and that's a promise. Love you. Mean it. Bye. Camila, who was a single mother, as mentioned earlier, is a teacher at Norland High where she was good friends with a fellow colleague. His name is Ernest Roberts. Ernest, a married man, was the assistant principal at the same school where Camila teached. They had been close for over 20 years. Ernest was the godfather to her children. She took him like a brother and family. Ernest was known by all her family members. But for some reasons, Ernest was transferred to Linda Lenton K-8 Center in North Miami seven months prior to this incident. Some people said it was a result of them dating, but no one is certain about the reason. On May 15th, Camila was reported missing after abruptly leaving her aunt's house in Coconut K and failing to take her daughter to gymnastics practice. She was last seen going to Ernest's residence. The family was devastated about her disappearance. Her kids needed her and her family needed her. They reached out to anyone who saw something to please say something. This is, this is heartbreaking and she was my only child. I just hope that somebody out there can help me uh, to, to have some closure for me and, and her two girls. This, this is very, very difficult because, you know, with her personality, she was always friendly. Everybody loved her. And for this to happen, it's like, it's a total shock. 10 days after Camila was last seen alive, a teenager discovered a body in a canal. The cops were called and they were able to confirm it was the body of Camila Russell through fingerprints and her tattoos. Back now to that murder mystery of a South Florida teacher. Yeah, we just talked to the victim's mother for the first time since her daughter's body was found in a canal. Local 10's Roy Ramos is live in Miami Gardens now. Roy. And that mother tells me she's obviously going through a very difficult time right now. She said her main focus is Russell's two daughters. She does have a five and 16 year old. She says what's getting her through all of this is the support from the community as well as support from family members that continue to arrive here to her home. You can still see several vehicles parked outside of that house right there. That is the same home where Camila was last seen on May 15th after getting the news that Miami-Dade County employee had been found dead. The medical examiner's office has confirmed that Russell was found floating in a canal this past Saturday. Her death is now being considered a homicide and the cause is blunt force trauma to the head. Now that 41 year old was a test administrator at Miami Norland Senior High School, but today we heard from her mother now watching over Russell's two children.
you know, we were all crying last night, and the older one, the 15-year-old, she's like, can we all sleep in the same room tonight? Because, you know, they slept in a different room. So I said, yes, we can all sleep. Anybody, you know, saw her that day or saw where she went or saw if anybody's following her, you know, I, you know, somebody must have seen something or heard something. And I'm just hoping that, you know, someone would speak up. In the days following the missing persons report, several leads suggested Ernest's may be involved in Camila's sudden disappearance. On Monday, May 20th, a Miami-Dade County Public Schools employee at Linda Lenton K-8 Center reached out to investigators about a note left for him by Ernest. The two knew each other from working at the school and had previously exchanged numbers. That morning, Ernest who at the time was on a field trip with students in Washington called the employee and told him to look in a specific cabinet file where he would find a handwritten note and set of Audi car keys. The note reads, Do you know anyone that can chop a car up? It is behind the Speedway racetrack on 441 by County Line. The employee recalled seeing Ernest's missing persons report and out of concern reached out to the Miami Gardens Police Department. The employee met with investigators that same day and recalled an erratic conversation he had with Ernest a few days prior. The employee told detectives Ernest told him he did something crazy. He told him that he confronted an intruder at his mother's house and hit him in the head with a baseball bat, Robert subsequently admitted to the employee that he killed the intruder and said he wrapped up the body in a tarp and dragged the body through his mother's house, leaving blood stains in various rooms. He asked the employee how to rid the house of blood stains. The employee suggested Clorox, though he believed Roberts was kidding about the incident at the time. After hearing all this, they secured a warrant for his house. When they searched his house, they could smell bleach in most of the rooms, they were able to discover blood stains on different items, also they noticed he had a camera but unfortunately, Ernest deliberately shut down his video surveillance system at his house 30 minutes before Camila arrived, he would later turn it back on two days later. Luckily for the detectives, they were able to find video footage of what happened between those times from other neighbors. At 6.03 pm that evening, she is seen walking toward Ernest's front door. Later, Ernest is seen entering Camila's vehicle alone at 6.54 p.m. and backing her Audi closer to his front door. He is seen entering and leaving the residence and walking toward the trunk of the car several times with no signs of Camila. At 7.10 p.m. he is seen driving away in Camila's Audi. Later video shows him walking back to his home. Camila was never seen leaving Ernest's home residence. She was not seen again until her body was discovered in the canal 10 days later. Cell phone records also show the last person to have any telephone contact with Camila was Ernest at 6.01 p.m. few minutes before she got to his house. Before his arrest, not knowing the police had gotten the footage needed, he posted online saying Camila was more than my sister. For 20 years she's been at my side. Both our families and close friends know the bond that we've had. Anyone with facts please reach out. We lost a beautiful mind and a great spirit. Tonight, showing the last time anyone saw a Miami Norland high, high school teacher alive. Let's get right out to CBS 4's Amber Diaz, who's live outside TGK in West Miami Dade with a new video. Amber. Well, we're to be in Elliott. Good afternoon to you. Yes, this video is about an hour and 20 minutes long, but we took the time picking out those crucial moments which appear to link her longtime friend to her murder. At 6.05 on May 15th, Miami Norland senior high school teacher Camila Russell pulls her car into Ernest Roberts' driveway, her longtime friend and godfather to her children. Video shows her going inside his house but never coming out. Later on, Roberts himself is seen walking outside to his trunk and pulling out what appears to be two large bags. Soon after, police say Roberts gets into Russell's car and backs it into his driveway. But according to our news partners at the Miami Herald, his defense attorney argues the video is too pixelated to say he's the one driving her car. The lack of clarity in the video, however, doesn't sit well with investigators. They say they found her blood at the home where there was a strong smell of bleach. There was extensive evidence of a, a cleanup effort. Miami Gardens police say her body was found in a canal near Robert's home a week and a half after she disappeared. Records show she died from a blunt head injury. Investigators say a key clue that tied them to Roberts is a note. He's accused of writing to a co-worker at a different school, asking about chopping up a car and throwing the note away. Police say the motive is still unclear.
Police arrested Ernest Roberts for the premeditated murder of Camila Russell. Here's his mugshot hours later. Miami Gardens police say they have evidence suggesting he is behind the murder of Camila Russell, a Miami Gardens mother and test chair at Miami Norland Senior High School. Authorities say the former Norland assistant principal, who was also Camila's longtime friend, was the last person to see her alive on May 15th. She entered the defendant's home, never being seen alive again. According to an arrest affidavit, Roberts left a note for a fellow school employee asking if he knew how to chop up a car to make it disappear, attached with the keys to Russell's Audi. That employee became concerned and called police. It was a break came in the case from a school employee who referred a very suspicious note from Roberts that instructed the employee where the victim's car was and what he was supposed to do with this car. Roberts later told his colleague that he had killed an intruder with a baseball bat and wanted to know how to clean up blood. Detectives found traces of blood near Roberts' front door, master bedroom on an Amazon box, and bloody sandals in the master bathroom. While the evidence may be there, a motive remains unclear. A motive is not a necessary element of a crime, but of course, we all want to know. The former Miami Norland Senior High School assistant principal Ernest Joseph Roberts was in bond court following his arrest on charges of killing Camila Russell. Ernest, 39, appeared for just a minute while being told he would not be getting out of jail. He is charged with first-degree murder in the death of the educator. Sir, you have been arrested for one count of premeditated murder. There is an arrest warrant. You're being held no bond. Linda Russell, Camila Russell's mother, told Local 10 News that the loss of her daughter and only child still consumes her. When they said he was a suspect, I'm like, I can't believe it. Her mother says her daughter knew Roberts since she was 10. Family and friends still not sure what the motive of the killing was, but sources who were close to them said it was all because she was pregnant for him and he didn't want his wife to learn about the fair. The police department would not deny nor confirm if they were having any type of romantic affairs. But it's been additionally compounded by the difficult process of trying to grapple with how did someone who they felt so close to, that felt like family to them, could have done this to their loved one. Well, a couple of things about that. Again, the investigation is ongoing. Uh, he is in custody as we speak. There is no bond. There's more work for us to do. Um, I know you know this because you're a very seasoned um, reporter and journalist. Uh, motive is not a necessary element of a crime, but of course, we all want to know what led to this. So we know the family is going to have those kinds of questions. And we all want to know that. It's human nature to try to find out how was it that someone so close could have done this to someone that was so loved by so many people. So we are going to continue but he was taken into custody today, so we wanted to inform the public uh, of what has happened so far to date. I don't know where his wife was. I believe he was married. Some also said, Ernest was transferred from the school seven months ago when they found out about the relationship which was against their policies. No matter what, no one should be killed for whatsoever reason. We hope Camila Russell gets the justice she deserves. Our sincere condolences to the friends and families of Camila Russell. May Camila's memory be a blessing for her family and for all who knew her, and may her life and death be an inspiration and a turning point towards justice and increased protection for abuse survivors. Please stay safe out there and see you guys in the next video.